major seven is what Eight. we would call it. Um, but there's this great little. Hey. How you guys doing? Thanks for tuning in. Got the long, uh, long scene up right now. Trying to find it. Hold on. Hold on. Get to something there in my, in my, my mouth. Yeah, this is the guitar scene. That's what it is. Is it Rocksmith scene? That's what, that's what I was using. This is the wrong one, too. I had it yesterday. It was perfect. Maybe it was just like a generic scene scene. Scene. Yeah, this is what I was using yesterday. Okay, we have the display capture. Not display. Window capture on. There it is. Perfect. Okay. So I've got the volume turned down right now. So that the guitar hopefully is not clipping out. Oh, I gotta push the table back. Ah. And keyboard a little bit closer. So when I hit the space bar, it's closer. And I'm gonna point the camera down so you can see my guitar. Better. That's still enough. I think I can just leave it the uh, probably got all my props on it now. Let me just turn crop head off, then we'll see what happens, huh? Webcam, filters, turn off crop head. That might work. What do you think, folks, huh? You can see me well enough here. It does not look like it. it does not appear to me that it's clipping out over there. So, only problem now is that uh, my camera's like, and so I need to turn it more to the right, the camera to the right, so that we see more of me. Nope, that's the wrong way. Away from that. Yeah, my microphone. I see my microphone. Okay, so this is good. If anyone's watching, please tell me how it sounds. I hope it sounds better. Never know if anyone's watching if I don't bring up the chat. Like chat, chat. This still set as a StarCraft game, but music. Come on now. I'm gonna have to stop and restart the stream just to get that straight. Okay, it says music when I look at it now, so hopefully that took over. Ah, oh, you know what? Fuck, I hit the thing. Hopefully that does it. No, this should all be correct. I'm, I'm just checking, checking the titles, make sure they're right too. And it is. It's right. Okay, good. So, I think I think we're in business, folks. Oh, and I was taking notes yesterday, so I got my papers out here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, why didn't you pause that? Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two. Some extra pause. There's some extra pausing in there. He's doing. So check this out. We got the E major chord. Yep. The next chord is a C major 7 is what we would call it. 
Um, but there's this great little voicing you can use where you take this same shape and you just plant uh, the one, two, third fret up, ring finger there on the A string, index on the second fret of the D, and that is a C major 7 chord, but with a, a G in the bass. So it's like a slash chord, but it works really well. It gives you that moody sound that you want, especially if you're, you know, playing it by yourself, and you don't even have to change the shape of your hand. So E, C major 7, but this new, you know, easy but uh. fancy chord. Then, we need to go over to a D chord. But with the capo, I kind of think it sounds better with the middle finger off or to not play it. Mute it. That bright high note is a little much for the moodiness of the song. But so the chorus is these three chords with that one, two, three, one, two, baby. Just repeats, you know, you can follow right along and hear it with the original recording. E, C major 7, D, and you could call it D add 9 if you played it that way. I just don't like that bright note in there. Learning guitar? Wait, oh, don't touch that skin. God, button. shut this up. This is going to change hair. everything. Look, everyone wants to learn guitar, but very few can actually play. Up until now, it's been way too hard. Shut up. It's not that bad, dumbass. Now, there's a cool part that I'm going to show you near the end of the lesson because it's more advanced. That's supposed to need work. Still easier than it than it looks. Um, but let's get to the uh, you know you got this verse. going to be able to come close to humming the melodies here. Great vocal performance. But what you have is you have this E, C major 7, D, E, D, D, D. So it's an extra count on the second one. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, so there's a little special thing that only happens one time. I'm going to show you that at the end too, because this is we're going to take the beginner round and then make it more complex.
That's the part I gotta learn now. So after the first chorus, it goes back to the verse again, and it just does a little something different. It's the same chords, but just the arrangement changes a little bit. So he starts the same. standard tuning either way. It's a little bit between this fret and this fret. It's not, if you're using a standard tuning, you're not going to be able to, it's not going to match perfectly with the recording. There's a little in between. That happens sometimes, especially with old tape recordings. So that's pretty much what we need. That gets a start for sure. It's never been a better time to skip this video. For the song, there's a super weird bridge that if you're playing this by yourself or a campfire super kind of situation, sing along kind of situation, or even an open mic. Oh, really that's right. Play this part, that. Very much a studio part. But you'd go up the so This is zero. Then you go one, two, three, four, five up with the A shape. out here why am i getting ugliness with the bar chord here oh right, one two three four five five so a shape here a a shape a shape chord which means this which means you bar here and then you gotta fret these three next to each other just as you would make an a chord if you do it one finger a chord not this string, this one, and these, and this one can play or not. So that's an A shape chord because I'm fretting these three strings. Now here's my bar: one, two, three, four, five, fifth fret up. Bar. And then I gotta add, gotta fret these three strings here. The third, fourth, and fifth strings need to be fretted. Now, this is too hard to do because I'm not that limber. So, I use the, I use it in my pinky because it's like it's closer, I guess. And my index finger. So I make a bar, stick it down, then you roll backwards, right? Not forwards, you roll backwards. So here's 
my... Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I was... Maybe... No, I can't. I can't. I can't roll forward and get the angle right. It's not working right. Talk to Marty for a minute. Let me show you the couple of extra little things. Now, in the very first verse, it's playing at. It's a little weird thing that happens, so it's just going down the scale. It's open D. Right here actually means four and two, not five and three. Writing this down, 1120. If you took a regular C chord and took your index finger off, that's a C major 7 chord. What we were playing was this one. Same chord, we were just adding a lower note there, an inversion in the bass. Oops. So we're going to need it this way because of our extra fingers going on. So check it out. One, two, second fret up on the D to the fifth. And that's C major seven. Get with the friggin' ads, man. And now what I'm doing here is I'm playing a D major chord, but the inversion is this F sharp in the bass. It looks like this. I'm just kind of barring this little second fret cluster here. Middle finger's hitting that third fret of the B. And then ring finger is hitting the... One, two, three, fourth fret of the D. And then ring looks like this. I'm just kind of barring this little second. Back up, back up, back up, back up. And then back off within that chord. The second fret of that G, check it out. And then back off within that chord. Second fret of that G, check it out. And 
then back off within that chord. He's using these fingers to sit. And then, then what? And now what I'm doing here is I'm playing a D major chord, but the inversion with this F sharp in the bass. Hey, just Silty. Like I'm just kind of barring this little. No, I don't have two cameras on. Cluster here. Middle fingers hitting that third. I don't, I don't have two cameras on. That's just capturing the uh the video, Marty's Marty's video, Marty Schwartz. He does great instructions on how to play guitar, play beat. songs. In the bass, it looks like this. Yeah. Just kind of barring this little second fret cluster here. Middle fingers hitting that third fret of the B, and then ring finger is just uh, like this. Yeah, it's all the vote thing. What I'm doing here is I'm playing a D major chord, but. That's the next thing. This this chord. Going down a fret and a string. Then what's he doing? It's a nice sound right there. A sad song by uh, the Sundays, I know. Yeah, yeah, the bike ride this morning was great. I went over there yesterday after, uh, yeah, after uh, yesterday afternoon, I went there when they finished uh, everything they did in the basement, and I went on, I, I test rode it, and they took, they took off the pedals, and I brought all put my pedals on it. Today. Sounds nice there. Sounds confusing. Tell me if the if the if the mic the sound sounds better now. Is the mic clipping everything out like it was like it did yesterday? Here's my pick.
Seriously, it's not better. Okay, I'm turning off the gain then on the snowball mic. Thought I got that turned on. Maybe that's part of the program. I'm just going to turn off the gain. And you tell me. You tell me now if it's better. Because I think the volume. It's just part of oh, I got to put. You think that's a good the thing is gonna fix, but I see you're not hearing the half the sound. Yes, I, I know. I listened to my stream from yesterday, that's why I'm redoing this now. Tell me if it sounds better. break okay time for drastic measures not drastic just i have another offer hold on old old the horn huh how could that be worse that doesn't make sense it's nice to plug the guitar in but i, I don't see how that would fix the microphone issue Noise suppression. Okay, fine. Okay, I'm turning off the noise suppression option now that I had on the mic. Hmm. And then you can tell me. Same cutting out, but too quiet. What? Noise suppression. Okay, turn off the noise suppression. Sounds better. Good. So maybe it was the noise suppression thing. But now that was without a pick, so it's gonna be. A little, it was with a softer. Try it now with the pick. I've got the pick going. Excellent. It was the noise suppression garbage. That's that's what was screwing it up. <laughs> I'm holding my pick sideways. I'm not making it harder to dig in. Those three chords just sound great. You know what a good song that is. You know, you know this song. I, I hope you know the song. I assume you do know the song. 
because the song is just amazing. And I had no idea how amazing it was until I watched uh, that that um, dance at yesterday that Rick Beato. What makes the song so great? And the overtones of Seal's own voice overdubbed two and three times. It's amazing. So, what was he doing before? Doing this, this C, C thing here. Yeah, I got that part. Okay, so it's... There's a chord after that, but I don't know what it is. So now what I'm doing here is I'm playing a D major chord, but the inversion with this F sharp in the bass. It looks like this. I'm just kind of barring this little second fret cluster here. Middle finger's hitting that third fret of the B. And then ring finger is hitting the one, two, three, fourth fret of the D. Second fret, fourth fret. I got some. That's it. Barring second fret, I don't know. So I can't tell if he's playing four strings or five. I think he's just playing four strings. That's his, uh, what do you call it? D major seven? D major? Uh, bar two. And then. Third fret, second string. E, F, E, S. And he's doing fourth fret, fourth string. Four F, four X. Barring them two. Third fret, second string. Boop. Fourth fret, fourth string. That's it. Gotta get my bar up to the fret. Muscle memory, building muscle memory.
fingers knew where to go. I've got that those pieces picked out and one okay that goes on two goes on three that's the next step and then when you put that together finger off and you're hitting that and then open take your ring finger off and then hit that open ring ring finger I think you're gonna do Let's back this e up. Major. And then E major. Good, good. So we're almost mm. through this. That. And then open. E major. Let's back up a little bit. finger off and you're hitting that and then open so play the chord e and then the string take your ring finger off and you're hitting that and then open e major Doing my middle finger. That's middle. That's ring. It's important for a guitarist to know one finger from the other, isn't it? <laughs> Feel like I'm making progress. Good. Anytime you want, but it's really a good back. Take your ring finger off, and you're hitting that, and then open E major, and then fourth string, and then E major, and then fourth string, and then E major.
because there's tension. So let's go from the seven to the one. said other in earlier posts as a vote I don't know it just said I guess maybe added one vote to poll two votes your vote now get your vote in now the votes are Bastidites 25% other 25% 75 we'll say perhaps I'll type other again see what happens <laughs> I don't know you tell me lady Same person, I don't get multiple votes, but I got another three five votes. All right, well, there you go. Since you're the same person, since when are you the same person? Uh, riddle me this I'm gonna do something with the OBS. So, see, I'm gonna turn back on the game and you tell me if it makes it sound shitty to you, okay? Not doing the the noise suppression. Just gonna add the game back, which I guess makes it louder. Okay. And okay, so the game is back on. Ba 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 da da da. Tell me if it sounds bad. I see it clipping out. Easier to hear with the gain on. Good. Guitar still good. The guitar still sounds good. So it's the gain. I need the gain on. It was that noise suppression. Hearing sounds from over by the front door. The uh, noise suppression. It's clipping out noise. Why would I turn noise suppression on in the first place then? But the guitar still sounds good, so I can just keep the gain on, and, and you hear the guitar, and the guitar's not too loud.
this a person block fans in the basement? No, that's a really good guess, uh, Silty. That's a really good guess, but I had the noise suppression on way before that. Hmm. Let me go check on what these sounds are coming from over there. Maybe it's just the, the dehumidifier in the basement making noise or something. Like if I don't come back, call my phone first. If I don't answer that, call the police. Be right back. for a drink. Guys, okay, so I've been working on this again. 48, 15 minutes I've been streaming this. It's really good. Okay, so I do that D thing. I need to write down, take my notes. Then I do that step four. Lift ring finger. Note. Note. And then open note. Maybe I'll remember what my shorthand is saying. And then E chord. Back to the E, baby! All right, let's try and do this slowly. So I got these post-its. I got one, two, three post-it notes. Glad you made it back. I don't speak German, so calling police might not help. <laughs> Especially since they're not even called the police yet. They're the Polizei. And we don't use 911 in here. Did you know that in Germany it's not 911? It's a different code. But you live, uh, you don't live in America, so you might know it's not. It's probably different in Canada also. Maybe. I don't know. Seal. Capo on the third fret. Uh, that's... Man, I don't even know. My notes are so... stuffity stuffed. Messed up. And these post-its are all curly. I need to get like a real piece of paper and just... put all this stuff in one spot. Or go on the internet and download it from someone who, who transposed it already. But the notes helps me internalize it better.
I want to see that. That little way he did it, just right then, just. Yeah, what's he doing? Blink, 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 boom. Yeah, that's the same thing he taught. But it just sounds really good and cool. walk down. I just realized, I don't know if you noticed it just a second ago, y you can do those parts and then just, I don't have to, I don't, I don't have to do this uh, bar chord here. Of course it sounds nice. I might be stopping here soon. I'm going to a dinner uh, with the musical group that I joined. I'm not a band. It's called the Mevo Music Initiative Vohenstrauss, which is about a 20 minute drive from here. And they're having a dinner tonight. It's a it's a it's a, a club, not a band. It's a club. It's a club for musicians. I joined it two years ago. So that I can play with other people. And I haven't played with them uh, in over a year. So I'm going to kind of see how it goes tonight. And if I don't start, if, it, if I don't get back to, you know, playing with them, I'm just going to quit. Because I'm paying something every year. I pay my dues to be a member, but I'm not getting anything out of it right now. It's, I mean, it's, of course the pandemic was last year and all, but... Still, they still have the room. It's just that you know, a bunch of them are college students, and they say they're busy doing this or that, or it's wedding season, and they can't get together. And it's like, well, okay, that's fine. Just don't need to pay be paying my dues if I ain't getting what my money's worth from it. Oh, I forgot to tell you what I thought that sound was. So my my kitchen window over there is open, and some guy on a my motorbike just went up to the house across the street over there. I think I just heard him parking his bike and getting off it and ringing the, door, ringing, ringing the, the neighbor's doorbell or something. That's probably all I heard. That's probably all it was. So, I guess I didn't play through the song like I said I would, did I? And I guess, I guess what uh, my problem right now is with this song, I don't know... I don't know when to do which parts. And did Marty say that that last thing I just learned was in the beginning? All right, there. Intro. He said intro, see? <laughs> you can cut it anytime you want, but it's really just the, that little musical intro. Okay, so I'll treat it as an intro. Um, hopefully I won't have to wear a mask, Silky, because because uh, everyone going has to be vaccinated. Uh, so you're adding the second fret of the G there?
Okay, I got it. All right. So, oh, I've got to put the capo back on. Third fret. Right. Meow. Right there. Good. So, if I were to play that as an intro. I'm gonna stop there. So I ended it where I started it with that nice bit. It's like when I, when I do it the other way, it's just, it's just cutting off the sound when I go to the bar. Maybe it's just because I'm too slow. But. Vote. Vote. <laughs> try it. Try it. Uh, forget about it. All right, I'm done. Thank you. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I might, I might play a little bit of StarCraft here before I go, but we'll see. Thanks for tuning in so much. And with that ad breaky thingy right there, I'm stopping the stream. Hope you, hope you like it. Appreciate it.